Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to show you a super fun project today. This is one of the One Page Wonders and it is using one 12 by 12 sheet of paper, whatever you choose. I'm going to show you how to make it at the end of the video. I'm just going to show you what I've made. Uh, but I did want to mention that I saw this craft on um, a YouTube channel called Camellia Crafts Designs lovely crafter I came across her channel had not seen it before saw this project and I just had to make some so I've um, decorated them in different themes and I'm just going to show you what you will be making I love it because it has like three pockets and oh my gosh it's just such a lovely quick project to make okay let me show you the rest and before I forget to mention, so the first one I decided to do like a shabby chic style. Um, I did add um, a little uh, sentiment here from my latest printable, which is the mini snail mail printables. I will link those below if you're interested in checking it out. I decorated just with some florals, just a little bit of bling. And like I said, it's just one of those super fun and easy projects to make. I think you're going to love it. I did make it in different themes so you can get an idea, different ways you can decorate it. And then like I said, I also, um, I'm going to show you how to make it. And then also the different closures, um, you can just get an idea as well. So for this one, I used uh, Velcro strips. I will also link some of my favorite supplies through my Amazon shop in the description box below in case you're interested. Um, I'm going to show you this one first as well. This one says make life pretty and also this one here is from my design. I did go ahead and add like a little faux stitch to that just so that it looked like you know it, ha it had um, a little bit of stitching and um, I did tie this one with a little bit of sorry silk ribbon you can see here. Then when you open it up, you've got some really cute cards. I was thinking these would be so lovely to make as like gift card holders with a little note. Um, you can also do these like as, um, you know, um, put a little photo in the back here, which is where our third little pocket comes in. Trust me, it's in there. I just have to figure out how to get it out now. Of course, I'm filming and it's not going to want to come out. There we go. Okay always when you film right so here's the uh, little card or photo you can put in the back and you can see how that looks there and then I also made one in um, a little bit of a fall theme which I thought was super adorable so again um, for this closure as I mentioned I use the um, sorry silk ribbon and then for this one I made a belly band that could um, be used as a closure so this is again a fall themed one um, and then you've got little recipe card another little note card there again you can just add you know a few little pieces even ephemera or embellishments if you're sending this in snail mail and then you've got your little pocket the back for the card and I did add like a dimensional piece here with a little acorn and then on this one as I mentioned um uh, this one being my printable I just did a little bit of stitching around it and then I did make it a little bit of dimensional because I just cut up a couple and then stack them together to give it a little bit more um, you know more like a, a 3d effect so um, I hope you enjoy making this one they are super fun super easy to make um, I think you'll be making quite a few of them uh, and before I start I just want to say thank you so much again for your support with my shop and my channel um, I appreciate it and I do hope that um, you get to check it out. I have um, artists in my shop as well that I feature and there are a few journals in there that some of the artists have sent for my consignment shop. Um, thank you so, so much. Your support with my shop and um, the likes of my videos um, keeps me coming. Let's me know you like these types of videos so I keep making them for you. Um, and as always, let me know which one you like the best. Um, I'm making a few actually to send out in um, happy mail. And so I thought um, I would show you the different versions that I've come up with, or themes, I should say. And um, all right, let's get started. Okay, so you take your 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and then keep in mind, again, if you have directional paper. So this one for me, you might not be able to see it, but there's some birds here that are kind of facing up. So I'm making sure that I'm keeping my direction how it's supposed to be. 
Okay, I'm going to flip it over though so you can see it from the white part. Now I'm giving you measurements. Um, the lady I saw, she just sort of folded it and, and kind of made it this way without the measurements. And I think while that works for some people, um, I, I like to have measurements sometimes. And especially with paper that is a little bit thick like cardstock, I find if you bend it wrong, then it gets all wonky. Okay, so we start at the six inch mark. And if you don't have a scoreboard, I guess you could just fold it in half um, and then just sort of follow along. So our first score line is at six. You turn it once to the left, okay? And then your next score line is at two and a half. I'm not sure why my, my score line here tends to move a little bit. So two and a half and then at seven. And then at 10. Okay, so the 10, the last little section here, we'll just put a little X on it um, because we're going to do a little cutting there. Okay, then turn it back to where the six was. And then we'll do a little X here because we will also be doing something there. Just need to remember your direction. Okay, so I'm just going to do all my folds. Sometimes I find that my um, scoreboard also doesn't do it so nice and, and even. I don't know why. We can always fix things later. So I'm just basically right now just taking all my score lines and just, you know, um, making them nice and crisp. When I open it again, just do it this way. Uh, I always say when you're starting out one of these projects that you should probably start off with a paper that's not, you know, that you don't really want to use as your finished product. So you get to play with it a little bit and figure out, um, you know, what you want. Okay, so, and also with paper, I find that if you um, start scoring at the lines you made and then sort of make a little bit of extra scoring, um, extra folding then it kind of helps you not rip your paper all right so I'm putting my page back to how we started where we have our six inch mark okay so our other score lines are here we're going to flip it again and we have our two and a half seven and ten this section here we're going to cut straight up to the first score line okay and again this is something that she did a little different, but I find that it kind of works out better because you get to use this piece in a different way. Okay, so cut that there. Um, put it back to where your score line was. So this section here where we have our first score and then we have our second one, you have a large section. This section is where you could do your... Um, your little notch if you want to you don't have to but i find that it does for your the back of your envelope it gives you an indication that there's a little you know pocket that you can slide in and out of there same thing for this bottom here because this will become the pocket of our bottom envelope i'm just going to make a notch so i'm just going to leave it here so you can see what we've done again okay this was where we started with our six inch score line. And then when we did our other score lines on the side, we did a notch. We've done a notch in the larger section in the center. And then the bottom part, we just cut this sliver up to that score line. And then here I just made the little notch again. Okay, now we're going to grab our glue. I just like to put this down so I don't mess up my scoreboard. And um, I'll also have links, I think I mentioned in the description box below to some of my favorite supplies and what I use. Okay, so we're back again where our six inch mark is. That top left section, we're just going to add glue to that entire section there. And again, we're just going up to the score lines and not passing them, okay? And then your bottom section 
where you've got that last section before you cut, we'll just have glue on the furthest right side, again, just going up to that score line. Okay, so now I'm folding things over. I'm doing it this way just so you can see where all my folds are. Okay, so what, basically what we did is we folded it over after we glued, okay? So this is where you start to see how the shape comes to place. You fold up your piece here. This flap will glue this down as well. And again, we're just going up to the score lines. And then we fold this one down. So now you can see where the shape is, right? Okay, so I'm going to clean these up a little after. Maybe I can do it now because I think I just kind of glued it a little wonky. So just make sure that you're sort of making it as even as possible when you're gluing this back down. Now you can cut this flap completely off if you wanted to, but I like the fact that it helps me cover a little bit of the, um, the white that would have been left on this section here. Okay, so now we've got our pocket, our fold down. This here now becomes our next pocket. So, pause. <laughs> Just showing you the shape so you don't get confused. And then the back, you see how we've got the, um, the section there that we cut out. So you can see how that's now the shape that we wanted. I'm going to go ahead and round off my corners for my envelope flaps. Uh, if you want to, um, you know, stop the video and go back a little bit in case I've moved the paper around too quick for you. So now, if you see how this shape looks, it was just basically our page folded over. And then we have all our sections that we've scored. And then we glued the bottom flap and this flap over. So now, this larger section again, we're just going to add glue to the left and right side of this fold because now you'll see the shape that this now becomes our center pocket of our envelope okay so i'm just making sure that it's adhering properly I'll move that out of the way in case you need to see better okay and then we move this down so now you can see our shape there's our first pocket, which has not fully glued down, <laughs> and then our second pocket, and then our back pocket. So a little bit, um, a lot of folding, a lot of scoring, but once you play with it, you know, and you kind of see how we put it together, it is super easy. And all it took is one sheet of paper and no waste. It is all in this little spot and you only needed a single-sided sheet of paper you don't need to have anything that is double-sided so then you add your closure whatever closure you would want and you can see how that turned out Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to know when I have a new video to show you. Um, again, let me know which one you liked best. Um, and always tag me on Instagram, Facebook. Um, let me know if you've made any of the projects I've shared with you. I would love to see. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.